What's up guys? What's going on? Uh, Doc, not feeling good today. Let me tell you that. I had that shingle shot yesterday. Wow, man, that thing put me on my rear end. But uh, we're out here getting ready. And I say we. Uh, yeah, that is not my truck. And that is not my snowblower. Uh, yes, it's Tim. Hey! <laughs> get away from him he, he's he wanted to divorce me but i told him he couldn't no he wanted to keep the kids and i'm like i gotta see the kids yeah so later on in the video at the end we're going to talk about what happened to your right a little bit yeah and uh but guys let's get going on this i'm gonna hold this little camera here and uh tim's gonna knock this out for the most part and i'll do some shoveling on the sidewalks and stuff up there up by the walkways and stuff but uh tim was nice enough to help i'm telling you man if you all have ever had that shingle shot that thing <laughs> woo, they tell you it feels like you have the flu and it absolutely does you have no energy and everything aches so let's go to work guys we are done with that thanks to tim and uh i know tim's not feeling the greatest of all either uh tim's been fighting a little touch of the covid a bit of it. what's that timmy a little bit of it yeah but we're gonna check in on how that right mower's doing for him and uh you know what i don't understand is well, we'll get into it, but hey, this one's done, and uh, <clears throat> what do you think, man? That wasn't too bad at all, was it? Heck no. Uh, I will say this, though. Uh, I do have my steel uh, sunglasses on, and uh, I don't have my steel gloves on. I tried to keep it steel positive. Uh, you well, know, your hands are probably numb as could be. Right, yeah, because they're the... not steel gloves. Yeah, yeah, you can only... It, look, if you're gonna wear steel glasses, you need the hat, the gloves, all of it, and you don't yeah. you don't have the steel hat. I, I, I really I still need to order my Toro sunglasses because they are better than the steel glasses, because uh, I'm not sponsored by either one. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, so let's get in out of this cold, which yeah. really not that bad today. No, I mean, no, yesterday was pretty bad. Yeah, I yesterday mean, the snowed. wind was like, whew. Yeah. 
So let's get in and talk to Tim about what's going on with that right mower. See you in a minute. All right, we are home. Man, we're all done. So look, before we go any further, I want to say, I don't think it's the right mower. I, I don't think, think it's the Briggs and Stratton. And I had trouble with the Briggs and Stratton once. What do you... What are you? What are your thoughts now that you've had one? Well, you've you still got one on the other mower. No, it's Kawasaki on the other one. They use Kawasaki and Briggs. Um, this one had the f electronic fuel injection, and I tell you, I like the fuel injection. I think it's a, it's great. I, it's I think it's just the engine. I don't. I think there's just some. It's either there's something wrong with it specifically, or there's something wrong with the manufacturing process. So you said you thought. The crankshaft broke, dropped the pistons. Yeah, and they, from what they, my dealership told me was that they, uh, they took it apart, they took pictures, they sent it to the, to Briggs and Stratton, the warranty department, and that's kind of where we're at with it. I haven't called them yet. Uh, I don't. I mean, I could speculate. Is it my dealership not following up with them, or they're busy? I don't know. But you know, of course, I want all the answers, and you know, I just have to wait. I, I'm gonna. Right. I am gonna call, but. I'll tell you what, man, um, I'm not, I, I still want my carbureted motor. Mm -hmm. I still am going to keep my carbureted. Let me set this up here mm -hmm. so we can kind of. So we can wrap. Yeah, so we can wrap, Let's wrap to you man. folks. I don't even know if you can see us both. Um, I just simply like the carbureted models better. I know a lot of these guys do, right, and keep... a lot of them like that fuel injected but until you have a problem with it like leaking oil after 50 hours are you serious right 50 hours i don't even think it was that many because i did the first oil change and and that's my fault too i mean i, I was like i don't know how much this and you know you don't want something to be wrong and plus i i bought the mower to run it to make money off of it i didn't run it run it to sit in the shop how for, many hours did it have on it when it finally took a dump a little over 300 which is still, to me, is very young on an engine. Which, to me, irregardless of what happens, warranty, man. Warranty. When so, guys are getting 1,500, 3,000 hours out of these things regularly before they train them in, yeah, I would expect that this would be covered. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying, you know, this, this experience is going to be something that I'm glad Doc has the, the channel. Because maybe somebody is watching and maybe they'll think twice about it. Or, or maybe when this, if this goes the way I hope it does, I can come on here. I'll be more than happy to say Briggs took care of it. They were fully behind this. And, you know, that's what I'm really hoping is that they say, you know, we're really sorry. Well, this is a, a fluke. We want to take care of it. And there could be somebody else out there going through the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if, you're, you if are, your mower's using oil it's not supposed to use that my kawasaki's are not using oil mine do not use oil dude i've never had a cowie use oil never had a cowie blow up no. never had a cowie problem and i talked so. to the guys at gie at, uh, at the kawasaki booth and those guys were really cool they they were really helpful they took time to explain their products and i was really happy with talking to them that's another reason to go to what used to be the gie it's called something else now but it'll always be the gie to me and it's always going to be the GA. and let me tell you something guys if you are 50 and you get the shingle shot plan on taking a couple days off i can't describe to you the lady told me yesterday you're going to feel like you have the flu for a couple days oh my gosh it's like the flu on steroids every joint and muscle aches that achy achy <sighs> joint oh i know i'm just i'm as he explains it to me i'm just feeling like oh it, i know what it, he's talking about you feel every <laughs> joint like it feels rusty my arm is finally now not as sore as it was yesterday but i'm telling you that shot hurts like and it does like when like you get this much stuff in the shot and as soon as they put it in, it's like a, a hot, hot rod fire. iron. Hot just fire. Hitting. Hot fire. <laughs> Get magma. The shot. It's under the skin, so it's magma. <laughs> magma inside the skin. <laughs> All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, Doc, and, uh, can I see the new Super Check garage? Later. Yeah, I'm going to take, take Tim <laughs> in, show him the 
the million dollar super chat garage and uh well, i watched the series and i gotta see it when you when in Di when at disney world you don't just watch sh stuff on, on disney right, world. well you tom, go to disney world. tim is a big contributor so <laughs> he gets to come over and check it out he's you got your name on a few things in there oh, nice. and uh guys as always i can't do that very hard dr real is in the house i'll see you guys maybe uh later this week i don't know we'll see peace peace